Apparently time is not a result. Well, congratulations, Google. You know your operating system search very well. I appreciate that. Thanks. Good day, folks. Today we have a different video, one that involves the use of this unboxing knife. Today we're going to be unboxing a Christmas gift of mine that I'm going to test to see if it's worth hanging on to or if I need to take it back to the store to get my money back. Something I don't normally do, but could be interesting nonetheless, just because what the heck, right? So with that having been said, let's bust out the do, represent the brand properly, and put this off to the side, and let's get to unboxing this lovely gem. This is the Walmart brand of On. This is their eight inch Android tablet, and it features a 1.3 gigahertz quad core processor, two gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of integrated storage, and some kind of battery life estimate. It's also got Android 9 Pie, as well as Bluetooth. Hopefully it has Bluetooth, I would expect that these days. So the specs of this actually weren't too bad, at least comparative to like the Amazon Fire 8, I believe is something that uh, would basically be identical to this thing as far as the raw specifications are concerned, like the MediaTek CPU and the RAM and the storage and all that stuff. This has a, uh, yeah, two gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of storage. The cameras aren't impressive, but who cares really? And uh, on the demo unit in the store, it actually seemed like this was running stock, for the most part stock, um, Android 9 Pi, which is actually not too bad. I mean, I know Android 10's out and everything like that, but you gotta give Walmart credit where credit is due. This is not bad for $64, I think it was, that uh, it was before sales tax, of course. So uh, I suppose without further ado, let's get into unboxing this and seeing what you get in the box. And of course, first impressions, because that's just kind of sort of what I like to do on an unboxing video. Not before I not crack open the Mountain Dew, of course, because that's just what I do. I'll drop the cap. All right, so let's cut this cellar tape and uh, let's get into it here. Probably the top is gonna be the most ideal because I think that's where the tab is going to be where you're gonna cut this open particularly. And then uh, I'm not really one to save plastic, so I'm just gonna rip it open because honestly, the box itself is probably the most important part. But in this case, who cares? It's so cheap. And honestly, the box is nothing to write home about. It's just your basic cardboard box, probably made of recycled materials to keep environmentalists in check. Although, to be fair, I don't know why they'd be buying a tablet this cheap anyway. They'd probably be buying an iPhone or an iPad, but you know, I digress. You know, I'm just one of these weirdos that likes to buy cheapo stuff like this, I guess. I don't know. Make sure I get this tab because it's really rather wedged in there. And uh, I think I got it now or something like that. Yeah, I think I got it, hopefully. You know, it might help when you're doing unboxing is if you uh, had fingernails. But anyway. Sorry about the uh, angles of this. Let me go ahead and throw this in the wide angle now. So, okay. So, there we go. I think the tray ought to come out. Oops. So, you've got a advertisement for Walmart ebooks. Not like I'm gonna ever take advantage of that. Oh, I mean, it's valid until 2020, I think. Okay, I got the upside down. I think I've got it upside down. I did have it upside down. Well, now I have it the right way. This box is actually quite chunky for what it is, honestly. So here's the tablet itself and the nice plastic uh, protective sheet that it comes in. So we're gonna go ahead and, uh, whoops, see if I can get it out of here with one hand. It's quite in there, actually. Um, again, I apologize about the camera work. I don't have any kind of like tripod or anything like that. Oh, okay, I see how it's kind of in there. You kind of have to like flex the tray to get it out because it's kind of held in there with the little uh, tabs inside of the tray. So that makes sense. Just a cheaper way of doing it. There's nothing wrong with that. So we'll get back to the tablet here in a second. Let's check out what else comes in the box here, which isn't much admittedly. So you just get yourself a basic uh, product guide and it's probably multilingual. And 
Here is your charge brick. Again, nothing fancy. It is actually branded on. Get a better look at that with the better quality lens here. So it is on branded. I believe this is a 10 watt adapter, uh, five volts, two amps. So nothing quick charge capable, but who really cares on a tablet that's this price. And then just your standard, I believe this is a one meter micro USB cable with a USB A plug on the end of it in a little baggie. So nothing unexpected. It would have been nice to have USB-C, but you know, again, for a tablet that's this price, you really can't complain too much. And I mean, in the end, you know, the benefits of USB-C on a device that's this cheap anyway, it's kind of negligible. Let's just not beat around the bush here. Cause I mean, you're not gonna be like projecting onto uh, a TV or anything with this. You're gonna use a Chromecast or something goofy like that. Anyways, I'll plug this in because we might as well. And we'll get this off to the side. And let's uh, take the tablet out of the pouch. Which I think it comes up this way. And uh, here's the tablet itself. I like the like the matte finish on the back. And you know, it does kinda sort of feel a little on the uh, cheap side, but that's about what you would expect for the price. Um, it's got a little label on the front here just saying to charge the battery, uh, turn the tablet on, set it up with your Google account, and all that fun stuff. Just the obligatory and uh, whatnot. So uh, actually, we'll go ahead and uh, put this down because you might as well do a peel of the screen protector. is mildly entertaining. I believe this is just a uh, a plastic screen, but uh, no, that actually kind of sort of feels like glass. Yeah, that kind of actually does feel like glass, but nah, it might be plastic. It has like little indentations around it. They do sell like glass screen protectors for these things, and I thought about getting one, but I was going to try it first, and I was going to see if it's even worth getting something like that. It looks like this is a very uh, smudge-friendly display because, of course, um, no oleophobic coating. But, uh, you know, at this price point, I don't expect that. So, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and plug in the micro-USB cable here. I think it goes in this way. Maybe go the other way. Go the other way. Before I go forcing it in here, maybe. Oh, no. Let me just look at the port itself. Yeah, it is going in upside down. Okay. I don't know why it needs to go upside down, but welcome to the land of uh, cheap Android tablets, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, there's our little charging glyph. 87%, so this one actually came rather charged, not bad. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll power it on. Okay, on, powered by Android. What kind of a splash screen we'll get other than maybe like the, like the generic Android one or something like that. Oh, okay. So it's just the uh, the on logo animated like the old Android uh, boot logo. If anybody knows exactly what I'm talking about. Keep it simple. Keep it clean. I like it. It's not bad. I'll come back when this boots up. Oh, maybe not. That was actually fairly quick. Not bad. Does not look like the text scaling is very large. But I suppose they do that because this is a tablet, not a smartphone. I may have noticed the downside already. This might not have 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, although not the end of the world. Something to keep note of. Actually, you know what? I take that back. There actually was a 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi option, so good to know. I just barely saw that there. So I guess for anybody who's uh, buying one of these things, rest assured there actually is 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. I'd be surprised if there wasn't, but I've seen really cheap devices these days that even still, they don't come with 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, which is rather painful not that there would really be a big difference you know other than like uh, signal range differences and maybe the throughput but you know whatever right it looks like we have an out-of-box update so i wonder if that's just like a, a security update or something that might be what that is but uh we'll let that do its thing i'll come back 
All right, this looks like typical Android 9 setup. We're not gonna copy anything over because I wanna set this up as a brand new device. Should ask me to sign in with my Google. Yep, there we go. Interestingly, you can set it up without a Google account if you really wanted to, even if you you know set this up the first time. So that's kind of nice. Looks like just the typical stuff. Yeah, whatever. I usually leave all the stuff by default. Um, we'll set a pin. And no, I'm not gonna do secure startup. This is my tablet only and nobody else is really gonna be using it. Oh, Google Assistant, my favorite. So that's kind of nice. It actually comes with Google Assistant built in. Of course, that's kind of a feature of Android. Uh, sure, why not? We'll do this. We'll set up real quick. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. Cool. That was easy enough. Uh, I don't know. What about the font size options? I want to see those real quick. Because uh, they seem awfully small. <clears throat> I mean, that's not too bad, but that's their default, so, okay. What about the display size stuff? If I make it just a smidge bigger. Eh. Honestly, I think I'd probably take the extra screen real estate that you get. I mean, it's actually not blurry. I'm surprised. This is actually a half-decent LCD. And then what about the wallpapers? Do we have anything that's built in? Other than just the... Uh, it doesn't look like they include anything other than the default uh, Walmart one. So fair enough then. All right. And uh, here we are at the home screen of the on 8-inch tablet. Seems pretty simple enough. So, uh, oh, God, it's the old Android 2.1 notification sound that Walmart just can't stop loving using on, like, literally everything. Like, seriously, are we, like, living in 2010 or... I don't even know. It just seems awfully strange that they'd still be using that, but that's just me. Anyway, uh, updated to Android 9. What kind of security updates do we got here? I'm actually kind of curious. Oh, ew. Security patch level, April 2019. Yeah, that, that could be an issue. A, a massive issue. Like, come on, Walmart. Seriously, step your game up. That's ridiculous. But, I mean, whatever, right? And they do certification information, whatever. Um, yeah, that, that could be a big issue if it's not getting security updates. That's a big problem with Android. That This is why I don't use Android on a regular basis, because, uh, yeah. Anyway, we'll just go ahead and uh, close that out. Looks like it was doing uh, automatic app updates in the background, which is uh, probably fair enough. So I'll probably go run all those real quick. It thinks it's 12.38 a.m. because it's probably stuck in Eastern time zone which all these Android tablets just love to default to. So we'll go fix that real quick, actually. Do, 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 do. Let's see, how do they do this on Android? I'll just do the search, because that's why it exists. God, can we just not use that ancient Android 2.1 sound effect, please? This is like 2020, we don't need that anymore. Apparently time is not a result. Well, congratulations, Google. You know your operating system search very well. I appreciate that, thanks. So this is something I was not expecting this to have, but I guess it's built into Android these days, and that's the nightlight function. Much appreciated. A lot of cheap devices do not come with this feature. That is a much appreciated feature. That right there actually makes this a lot better and a lot more worth it. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I think we're gonna try a couple of uh, games, and I'm gonna run all the updates first just to make sure that they're all done. It's the last I've used before. Well, I'm probably gonna take care of all this bloat because there's probably, needless to say, a lot of it. Yeah, it looks like just all the built-in system apps. Fair enough then, all right. We'll get all those updated. And while those are running, I'm gonna go install CPU-Z so we can verify the specs of the tablet. Uh, like it's SOC and RAM and all that stuff. Just a utility I'd like to download on the occasion. It's very nice to have. 
I might also get a Geekbench 5, but we'll find out if that actually works on this tablet or not. It should, because I'm on Android 9 Pie, but we'll find out. So if I go to search, is it updating the keyboard first? Oh, no, it's not. Okay. As far as the typing goes, it actually seems to keep up rather quickly, so I'll give it that. Okay, cool. Geekbench 5 actually does seem to uh, appear to work. Perfect. Um... I'll go ahead and get Discord as well, because that's an app I use on the frequent. And, uh, what's well, interesting? There's a dot there. Oh. It's called this Google Assistant. I don't care about you, Google Assistant. Get out of here. So definitely under load. You can tell it's struggling. Not as bad as I would expect it to be. Like an old, old, old Android tablet. Like I remember those things used to lag hardcore, but this one's decent it's it's fine it doesn't seem like it's all that bad um could be better but of course for the price you really can't complain too much so i'm gonna go and let all those app updates run get some stuff installed and uh yeah i think for now that's gonna wrap up this video with the first impressions of like the performance and everything and uh maybe here within the next couple of days um if i actually get around to stuff i might actually uh do a bit of a mini review of this tablet and see what i think about it and as far as its performance goes and all that stuff so uh, stay tuned for that but until then appreciate you all coming to watch and i'll see you all in the next video